Welcome to Corvallis, Oregon, home of the two-time national championship Beavers. The Beavers are the national champions! He makes the catch, and it's over! The Beavers have won the national championship! One of the greatest moments in the history of Oregon State athletics and in the Beaver State. We've had a lot of special moments here in the greatest college town, but this 2017 team has been putting on a show. A big series starts tonight from Corvallis. And so we begin. Grounded toward second. Grenier, tough play. Hashtag 12 best. And they lead now when it matters most. Walk-off winner, K.J. Harrison. Walk-off again. Beavers in the bottom of the ninth. When I became the voice of the Beavers in 1999, my broadcast partner called me up to say, Michael, you're going to the greatest town to raise kids in in America. The community loves the Beavers. To Beavers head coach, Pat Casey, Corvallis is home. Hey, you guys are together. Run and hit, run and hit. Oh boy, good first step. I was born and raised here, you know, I was born in, uh... McMinnville, which is about an hour from here. So for me to be able to work around my family and people I'm familiar with and in the surroundings that I grew up in is, uh, is fantastic. Okay, now you give it up. Good, outstanding. Good. Since taking over the baseball program in 1995, Coach Casey's turned Oregon State into a national powerhouse. Case is about this team. He's about this program. He's about us as players. I always believe that Pat invests himself in a true vision in players to compete at the highest level. The reality is Oregon State baseball was here long before me and will be here long after me. And it's actually about the people that put the uniform on that cross the white lines and compete. Well, look, at, let's do this. Let's think about it. And then after practice, if there's a better way to get that in, then we'll do that. We're good. Go to arm care. In 2006, Casey and the Beavers reached the pinnacle of college baseball, winning the program's first national championship. And the next year, they did it again. Strike three call, it's over. And the team that almost did not make the field of 64 has won it back to back. Well, those are the guys that kind of set the ground for what this program is today. The guys now, have a feel and a respect for that tradition and play accordingly with great focus to try to live up to those kinds of teams. Now in his 23rd year at the helm of the Beavers, Coach Casey's led Oregon State to a record 27 conference wins. And on May 12th, the coach quietly reached a historic milestone. The Oregon State Beavers are the 2017 Pac-12 champions and Pat Casey joins the 1,000 win club. A lot of people, I think, feel like, you know, God, what a great night for Coach Casey. You know, it was a great night because we won the Pac-12. It was almost, oh yeah, and by the way, that's Pat's 1,000th win, which is sort of the way he would want it, I think. He didn't say a word about it, and that's how Case is. He just wanted to win that Pac-12 title. This is just the start. Yeah, this yeah. is just the beginning, and this is about you. It ain't about me. Great job for you. <laughs> Yeah, it makes you feel good that, that you were part of that for so long. That doesn't drive me. You know, the next game drives me, that pitch drives me, the next inning drives me. The 2016 Beavers missed the playoffs despite finishing third in the Pac-12. This season, the Beavers used that missed opportunity as extra motivation. You ask anybody and, and the words got now is something about this chemistry on this team is incredible. It feels like we're number one. It feels like that we've played very well. It feels like you're the best team in the country. Seems to me this team more than ever has followed Coach Casey's example of competing every day in all the right ways. I'm not afraid to talk about things that I think we can accomplish. I'm also well aware that every team in the country has something, something about Omaha that feels like they can get there. And I think that that's okay for me. If I guys want to talk about Omaha and that's the goal, 
then, then by gosh, we better show up to work and make the Omaha goal. If we're going to do it, let's do it right.